Only on 12, a remarkable story of survival. A woman shot in the head three times during a carjacking. She tells WISN 12 News Nick Bohr she handed over her keys to the teenager, but he shot her anyway. Why do it always happen for the good one? 52 year old Simone Spencer is a survivor. I'm doing pretty good, I mean, considering everything I went through. Just a week ago tonight, Simone was shot in the head and back as she got into her car outside her home on North 50th near Burlock. I was minding my own business, getting in my car. And I had to him keys like he asked me to, and he still shot me three times. Spencer so. fell from her car onto the street as her attacker yeah. casually slid into the driver's seat and drove off. I thought about the Lord, I thought about my family, and this whole life in general that I'm too young to be dying now, and I can't, you know, so. Police arrested 17-year-old Grover Ferguson the next day, still driving Spencer's car. According to the criminal complaint, he later told police he decided to rob Spencer, saying, quote, since he had a gun and didn't want to walk anymore, he could get a car. Spencer was shot in the head just above her eye, which she can no longer see out of, and shot twice more in her back as she fell out of her car. The bullets are still lodged in her neck and back, doctors saying for now, it's too risky to remove them. Do you think you were going to die? I, I was pretty, you know, I did have that in my mind. I'm like, but I'm going to keep fighting. I'm not, you know, I'm not going to let him win, so. And Ferguson just got out of juvenile detention. 12 News obtained permission from the courts to view his juvenile record. We learned he was declared delinquent at age 13 after he orchestrated the armed robbery of his own parents at their home. Because he didn't abide by court orders, he spent an extra year in juvenile detention. He was just released two months ago. Joyce, he's now facing four adult charges related to this, uh, attempted, uh, this attempted robbery of her uh, car and, of course, uh, almost killing her. How courageous that victim is to speak with us and to have gone through that and, you know, to be as articulate as she was with you. Right. She's remarkably uh, uh, well-spoken. And for someone who went through that ordeal, it's just amazing. All right. Thank you.